Hey everyone, Rebuild. Yes, this is a lifesaver sometimes. I'm going to create a session. Let's rename this as the task name. Board removal as of now. Click on OK. Here we already have a roto node. And let's draw a spline to track. Go to tracker properties and track. Yes, our track is done. Let's stabilize the view and check. This is the beauty of Mocha Tracker. This looks solid for me. I'm pretty convinced with this result. You can rename this layer so that it will be easy for you to choose the tracking layer inside paint properties. Let's move forward to the paint node. Here we have connect it here. Uh, also connect this yellow pipe which is for extracting transformation values. Choose the exact track layer. Next, I'm going to remove the boat. As always, I'm going to be silent and let you watch the way of creating this clean plate. Ask doubts in comment if you need any sort of help. I think this is cool. Just fine tuning a bit more. Uh, select this group for selecting all the paint strokes. Next step is to match move the strokes and paint the whole range. I have made several tutorials for showing this trick. Check my older silhouette videos. It's gonna take some time here. Okay, the removal is done with such an awesome precision and speed. For me, this looks so good. Check it in stabilize also if you need to make sure everything fits to the scene. Let's cache the image. It's 4K, so taking time to load. You can see the grading is perfect here. And I would say a grain over this makes it even better result. Not sure if you could watch it because of YouTube compression. So it's not that easy to leave as an artist. Many times we will get noticed about new plate versions and this trick which I'm going to tell you can help you to update all your paintwork in the new plate itself. Load the new plate into the notary. Here we have a new color grader footage and sometimes a new denoise version will be there. See, the footage looks the same, uh, though the CC is entirely changed and thus forcing us to be stressed and panicked. If we step into the paint node, uh, there is an option for deleting all the strokes and uh, I mean kind of reworking it again. This is the thing which I did before uh, knowing this trick, so don't follow this method. Okay, let's connect the new plate into the workflow. You can see the issue here. Uh, don't worry, this is so easy to solve. Select all the strokes here. I'm going to the first frame. Here we can see an option as a rebuild, which is kind of a lifesaver for me many times. I always recommend to do a save as before doing this, just for a safer side. Click on rebuild now. Okay, click on this preview also, so that I can show you the magic of rebuilding. 
yes you can see the paint strokes are automatically rebuilding with these tracking informations and this looks like an ai is doing all the work on behalf of us sit back and relax Cool, the work is done and you can see all our paintwork are updated on the new plate as well. And this looks so good. I hope this tutorial helped you in some way. Until next time, it's Manu signing off. Bye-bye.